Well, lots of people hitting the road or taking to the sky for spring break and causing chaos in some areas. In Florida, the largest crowd since the pandemic started causing major problems for police. And check out the scene in Austin. Rental cars right here abandoned in the streets near the airport return area because of long waits. TSA lines out the door, some travelers waiting for hours, and as a result, missing flights and being forced to make alternate arrangements. And some say the city just has outgrown its airport. Correspondent Marky Martin is live for us from Texas. So Marky, what is the cause of all of these issues? Yeah, the scene's just a nightmare, right, Nicole? So essentially, this is just pent-up demand. You're talking about a lot of people who haven't gotten to travel in two, two and a half years throughout the pandemic. And when you have a lot of time off, like, uh, you know, from school or from work during the holidays, spring break, or even upcoming summer travel season, things are getting wild. The party is back on this year along Florida's beaches. Loud music, drinking, and uncontrollable crowds. Police say they confiscated 75 guns in just two days after shots rang out on a busy Panama City Beach street. And if I sound angry, it's because I am. I'm upset that I have to stand up here. I'm, I'm upset that they have to stand up here. I'm upset that I'm looking at all these weapons that we found on my beach. But problems not limited to Florida. Check out this mass chaos at the airport in Austin. Following a weekend of big ticket events, rental car companies didn't have enough employees to handle the returns. So travelers left their cars along the curb, keys in the ignition, and walked to the terminal only to find ticketing and security lines that were more than two hours long. So messy, it was so chaotic. Whenever you see outsized demand, like around spring break, uh, you're having a meltdown. Clint Henderson is with the points guy. He says expect to see more of what happened in Austin at airports across the country this summer. So the short answer to are the travel companies ready for the summer surge? The short answer is no, they're not. I think uh, you're seeing demand levels even higher than pre-pandemic in some cases, especially for domestic. The problem, like in so many other industries, is a lack of qualified, trained employees. Not only do you have more demand potentially than pre-pandemic levels, but you've got staffing levels that are much less than they were pre-pandemic. So when the two meet, it can cause disasters like what we saw in Austin. Yeah, you just feel for all the people going through Austin. Nicole, I also did want to mention the Austin airport right now is negotiating a fuel shortage. They have not had enough uh, to meet demand. Also, one other big tip that that points guy gave us this afternoon. If you have any, you know, bucket list travel, just summer travel that you are wanting to book, book it now. They are watching prices skyrocket by 7% every single month. So that beach trip you want to take uh, later on this year, it's only getting more expensive. All Nicole. right, that's a great reminder for procrastinators like myself. All right, Mark, you have a question for you. Looking at that video, when I rent a car, I worry about even getting a scratch on the car because I'm worried about being dinged for that when it comes to, you know, returning yeah. it. So all of those people leaving those cars in the middle of the street like that, is that what the rental company told them to do? Do we know? Or were there any repercussions? I'm confused. So... I was confused too. I've never seen anything like it, but you are correct. What we have heard is that all of those rental companies actually gave that directive to everybody who rented a car. And they said, we under, I think there was just a collective understanding of there being mass chaos there. They told them to leave the keys in the ignition right there on the curb and that they would handle it. Um, but yeah, and we've all wanted to do that before. I think we've yes. all been there before. <laughs> Um, maybe you and I will try that on, our, on the next trip and see how that goes Well, you for know, Marky, I feel bad for the person who's all the way at the end of the line, has no idea what's going on, just knows that they're not going anywhere. So, all right, Marky, thank you yeah, for that. Yeah, just follow the crowd. Just follow the crowd. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.